All right, kids, I am Jet's dad and Juno's dad, uh, and I teach physics up at the upper school. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how music speakers or loudspeakers work. All right, so what you're looking at right here is actually a pretty strong magnet. Like, check this out, whoa. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this magnet and put it inside of a little coil that has electric current running in it. So I'm gonna drop this thing into the coil. And you notice you hear that thing tapping up and down as it turns out six times every second. So it turns out if you run electricity through a coil, it can make a magnetic field that can push a magnet. And in fact, we can push it and pull it as often as I tell it to. So this was six times a second. Um, let's just turn up this, this up a bit and go up to about 10 times a second. There's 10 times a second. Let's go faster than that. Here is 110 times a second. So that magnet's jiggling around inside the coil. 210, 310, 410, 510, 610 times a second shaking that magnet. So you notice you can hear this high pitch sound. In fact, watch as I change how fast I switch it. So you can hear the vibrations that the magnet is making against the table. It's shaking the air molecules, and then that sound is going to be picked up by your ears, and so you can actually hear the thing shaking. So that makes some cute little music. But real music that you listen to has more than just one note playing at once, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so what I've done here is I've just taken that magnet and I've put it so that there's one magnet on one side of a cardboard lid and the other in the magnet, another magnet on the other side. And you can see that when I bring this coil by, it still makes that sound when I get close to the magnet. Well, if you want to hear real music, what you would do is instead of using a machine like this to send signal to the coil, what you can do is use a CD player. So here's the here's an old CD player I've got, and what I've done is I've taken the connections that would usually go to a speaker and I've put them into this coil. And so all I'm gonna do is bring this coil nearby this magnet. So you notice that you hear the music when I get this shaking magnetic field that's around this coil near this magnet. So this isn't just like a speaker, it's exactly how you build a speaker. You have the, the uh, coil that's carrying the signal from the music player, and what you do is you just have a magnet that moves, um, usually like a paper cone back and forth. And that, my friends, is how you build a loudspeaker. So come on up to the upper school someday if you want to do more cool stuff. Looking forward to seeing you in a few years.